Hey everybody, this is Antonio. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a brief uh, update on uh, Monday Link. So, uh, Monday Link is, um, as most of you know, is an Excel add on that uh, I built um, for synchronizing between uh, Monday.com boards and Excel tables. Uh, and you can use it to move data in either direction. And basically, the main motivation for Monday Link was uh, getting uh, uh, Excel functionality to work on top of uh, Monday.com boards. So, Monday is great for collaboration. Uh, it's also very good at uh, making sure that you're not entering uh, uh, like bad data, like a number into a, a field where uh, a person can go, which is something that you can easily do with spreadsheets. But um, uh, thankfully, in uh, Monday.com, you can't do that. So, uh, but uh, there are many things that spreadsheets uh, and especially Excel are much better at than uh, Monday.com. Um, and um, for example, uh, it might be um, editing uh, large amounts of data or analyzing data or pulling data from external sources and uh, whatnot. So um, the idea with Monday Link was to have a two-way street between Monday.com and Excel, and that way you can uh, get all of the benefits of Excel uh, on top of what you already have with uh, Monday.com. So you can do find and replace, you can use flash fill, you can use uh, all sorts of functions and whatnot to work on, uh, on your data, you can use uh, pivot tables, uh, and as well you can also pull in data from uh, external systems, pull it into Excel and then push it into uh, Monday.com. So uh, wh when I originally built Monday Link, uh, it was originally for uh, a project that I was working on for, uh, for a client. Uh, I was working as a contractor. Um, and uh, it was very helpful for, uh, for my needs. We were pushing a lot of data into Monday.com. We were uh, keeping a lot of uh, dashboards uh, updated with uh, external data. And for that, it was uh, really, really useful. And that's what I built it for. And then um, I figured it's a very useful tool for, uh, for, other, for pretty much anybody who uses, well, not anybody, but for many people who use Monday.com. Um, I figured it was it was going to be uh, quite useful, so uh, I made a video about it on um, YouTube, and I, I published it, made it made it uh, publicly available, and uh, people started uh, using it. At some point, uh, I put a price tag on it, and uh, I've had a, a, a couple of dozen people start a paid subscription for it. And at that point, I figured, okay, this is a nice proof of concept. People seem to be finding this very useful. Let me see if I can build something that's professional grade. So uh, basically, what's uh, what I'm doing now is I'm taking uh, I, I took Monday Link as a starting point, and I'm kind of folding it into a slightly larger project called uh, Data Links. So in this video, I'm going to go over uh, what's changing um, and what people who are all current users of uh, Monday Link should uh, know about this change. So uh, let's first go over the motivation for uh, for the change. So um, I originally wrote Monday Link, and then I used this, kind of the same infrastructure to build a, a different uh, connector for uh, Mailchimp because I wanted uh, Excel functionality to work on top of uh, on top of my Mailchimp data. And then, um, and I figured I'm going to be building uh, many of these connectors. And rather than having them be separate connectors, each with their own ribbon, uh, I figured it would be good to have them inside uh, the same Excel uh, add-on. Um, and then users can have like a consistent and simple user interface where they can uh, refresh, uh, refresh a table. So they wouldn't have to like look through a bunch of different ribbon tabs. They would have just one ribbon tab and they could, uh, I don't know, right click a table and click refresh and wouldn't have to worry about is it, the, uh, is it Monday link, is it Chimp link or is it T-Sheets link or is it QuickBooks link or whatever. So um, that's the that's the original motivation, um, and also um, um, uh, the, the data links has uh, somewhat evolved functionality compared to uh, Monday Link. So in this video, I'm just going to go uh, give you some of the some of the differences. So uh, let's just go to right uh, to Excel. So. Uh, right off the bat, you can see initially data links and Monday links seem to have the same, uh, the same kind of user interface here. Uh, there's a, we're going to get into uh, the differences uh, now. So, um, okay, let's start by pulling in, uh, pulling in a table. So uh, I click pull a table and the first difference is immediate right off the bat. So when I click pull a, ta pull a table from uh, data links, 
I'm going to, oh, by the way, data links, uh, just a word on the name, um, data links is um, kind of a nod to a 1990s game called uh, Alpha Centauri by Sid Meier. Uh, there's a, I was a big fan of that game uh, when I was a kid. Um, uh, there's a there's like a this large um, secret project that's called planetary data links uh, from from uh, uh, from Alpha Centauri and I don't know I, I I like the game so this is kind of just a a nod to the, to to the game and also data links kind of fits into what uh, what the, the the project is about so it basically uses Excel as kind of like a hub central hub for pulling in data and uh, from various systems and kind of piping the data through various from one system and then enriching it with data from another system and then pushing it into a third system and whatnot. So um, basically with Monday link, you could you would just configure Monday link with an API key and then you would be working with the, the same monday.com account across like all your all your workbooks and, and all, your, all, all, your, all your tables. With data links, that's not the case. Every data, every table can be linked to a different data source. So uh, let's see if we can pull a, pull in a table. So I have um, a Monday.com uh, connection over here. I'm going to pull uh, pull data from it. Um, so uh, let's pull let's pull this project uh, project overview. Um, you can see the user interface is uh, uh, much refreshed to what was there uh, before. So you have this tree structure over here and you can filter uh, over here. So if I'm looking at, if I want to find home renovation, I can just type that in. All of the boards are like tucked in, uh, tucked in underneath um, the workspaces. So we can filter by workspace as well. And then on the right hand side, uh, we can filter, we can um, Select the columns we want to uh, we want to pull in uh, from Monday.com or from whatever data source it is, and uh, in the in this tab, link settings, we can uh, configure any filters we have or, or any other uh, custom settings uh, we want for this uh, for this connection. So, um, for example, this setting over here, set color rules. You're going to see exactly what that does. That basically gives you conditional formatting that matches that that, that in uh, Monday.com. So, if I uh, pull in this uh, this board from Monday.com, um, it not only pu pulls in uh, the board, it also um, uh, copies uh, the the data formatting, the conditional formatting uh, as well. So you can see the group. Um, the name is the names of the groups. So if I go into data links and I go to uh, click go to source, I can see that the names of the groups are in color. So I have uh, I don't know in construction that's in blue. So I can see in construction that's uh, that's in blue. The red one is more information about this template. That's uh, that's this one. Uh, done uh, is green. And uh, I have some words in Croatian that you don't uh, have to bother uh, understanding. But the other thing is, um, so that's the foreground for groups, and there's the background for uh, status columns. So uh, this isn't like a one-off. So um, basically, I'm not pulling in the colors from uh, from Monday.com for specific cells. I'm pulling in the rules for colors. So if I change this to uh, stuck, it's going to turn red. Um, so it's not like this is it's not like the cell is green and it's is green whatever I pull into it. Um, okay. Um, so uh, and and now uh, I can I can also pull in data from uh, let's say let, let's see if I can pull in uh, some other data from from a different system. So for example here I can pull in data from uh, Mailchimp. Uh, I can double click that. <coughs> And uh, over here, I have uh, different tables that I can pull in from uh, Mailchimp. I have two system tables, which are a list of audiences and a list of campaigns. And then I have a list of tables that are uh, that correspond to audiences. So I have two audiences, uh, and each audience has a list of members. So I can I, I can uh, choose a particular audience from here, and I, I can uh, fetch uh, all of the members that are that belong to that uh, audience. Um, over here, as with Monday.com, I can select which uh, columns I, I put in here. Um, usually, the fewer columns there are here, the, the less data needs to be uh, sent over the wire, so it's going to be faster. Uh, reading and writing is going to be a bit faster. Um, link settings over here, I can I can define some filters. So, for example, I only want to uh, get the, the, the members who are uh, in the pending status or who are uh, archived or who are, I don't know, subscribed. 
Um, and then I can limit it here to uh, only the members who have signed up uh, in between uh, two, uh, two dates. Um, so uh, let's see if I can uh, pull this uh, pull this in. This is going to be uh, quite a lot of data, so it's it's loading in in, in uh, chunks of 250 rows. Um, this is a sizable audience of I think three thousand, three and a half thousand um, people. I'm going to blur out the names because it's an actual production uh, um, uh, production list. Um, so uh, depending on the, the number of columns and the specific columns that I'm pulling in, this is going to be um, kind of slower or faster. Um, let's, uh, let's give it a few more seconds to complete. And it should be done uh, any second now. So yeah, there we go. Uh, you've probably noticed in recent versions of MondayLink uh, that um, we have um, formatting applied to uh, rows and columns as well. So um, uh, the, the convention is uh, the following. So anything that is uh, light gray is, um, is read-only. So uh, the full name here is read-only. Uh, but that's because we need to, when we're um, changing the, we, we, we change the full name uh, in the merge field rather than typing it in the full name uh, field because full name is basically a combination of the first name and the last name. And we enter the first name and the last name in the, in the merge fields. Um, uh, the other, one other thing that's, uh, I, I've recently added to, uh, to Monday link, but haven't really advertised, uh, um, until, until now. Uh, so it exists in, in the last couple of versions, versions of Monday link as well, uh, and is being, uh, obviously included in, um, in data links as well, uh, is the ability to compare the changes you've made, uh, and, and changes that were made on the server. So, uh, I pulled this in at a particular point in time. Uh, and if I make uh, changes to this, so uh, let's um, try something here. So uh, hi there. No, let's, let's do, um, let's change this to uh, test, uh, very imaginative. Uh, and now if I go to data links and click uh, sync changes, um, yes, I want to, uh, I can click here if I want to see the diff or if I want to just silently complete the, the merge. I'm going to click yes, I want to see the diff before I, before I uh, change um, anything. Um, uh, and here I can see exactly what I changed. So I changed this uh, cell from uh, address slash unit one to, uh, to test. And if I click uh, start sync, that's going to send the changes to, uh, to the server. Um, now let's take a look at what happens if I change something on uh, remotely as well. So um, let's go to, uh, I don't know, change this address unit six to uh, something new. Um, and now if I click save changes, uh, or I can use control shift S as a, as a shortcut uh, to, 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 um, to open this sync uh, process for this table. It's going to inform me that um, this uh, this row has the the name of the row has changed from from this the green uh, sorry uh, let's try that again uh, okay yes I do want to see the diff okay so in green it's showing me uh, the changes that I made locally in yellow it's showing me the changes that have occurred on the server uh, since last uh, since the last sync uh, operation. So when I sync data from, um, from monday.com or from uh, MailChimp or from whatever source, um, uh, I, I pull the data into an Excel table, but I also record a snapshot of the original data so that I can uh, compare at a later point, I can compare, uh, base, uh, compare to that version what happened on the server and what happened locally. And that gives me the ability to, um, to uh, show this, uh, this diff over here. Uh, and then if I want to, I can click uh, start sync and it's going to uh, pull in changes from, from both sides. So this test is going to end up on the server and this something new is going to end up over here. So if I click uh, start sync, we can see that uh, I have something new over here pulled in from the remote and this uh, test um, 
uh, label uh, it, it got sent from my local to the remote so basically both the remote and local have been updated to the version that I wanted to uh, to, to the merged uh, version um, and you might be thinking what happens uh, if I if I change something in uh, on both sides so uh, let's say I put this I change this to test one two three and over here I change this to test uh, 987 or something like that uh, and I click sync refresh uh, okay uh, whatever I click here it's going to this is going to be a merge conflict so I'm going to get uh, this dialog regardless of if I want to see the diffs or not uh, in case there's a merge conflict I'm going to get this pop up because uh, this isn't this situation is something that data links can't resolve on its own so uh, it needs me as the user to basically tell it what what I want to do so it's saying okay I have one merge conflict I can't even click start sync because I need to solve the merge conflicts so I'm going to uh, drop down here and I can choose which version I want do I want the, the base version which was the the version that was uh, at the, the the last sync uh, do I want the local version, which is test one two three, or do I want to keep the, or do I want the the, the server version, which is test nine eight seven? Let's say I, let's say I trust the server version more. Uh, so I updated something, and somebody on the server made a change, which and I actually want that version on the server. Uh, so if I click uh, start sync. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to get test 987 here and on the server, no changes because test 987 is what's already there. there. Um, and uh, yeah, and also adding data. So I don't know, uh, uh, a new uh, row, uh, I can click uh, sync changes and click OK. And yes, I want to see the diffs. Uh, and I'm going to get a diff for the entire row. So over here, I can decide if I want to keep this row or discard it. Um, and uh, as well, uh, if I go uh, over here and uh, delete this row and then uh, press Control Shift S again, uh, I'm going to uh, see um, uh, in green. So this uh, um, uh, this green uh, color color coding means uh, everything that's in green is a change that happened locally. Everything that's in yellow is a change that happened on the server. Everything that's in red is a is a conflict between what a, what was done on the server and locally. So um, this one this row is we 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 can keep it or discard it. This is a new row. Um, this row was deleted locally, so you can see it's, it's being crossed out. Uh, but I can undo this delete. I can basically just keep the original uh, the original row. So let's say I want to keep the original row, and I do want to keep this new row as well. So I'm going to click Start Sync, and that's going to bring back the deleted row, and it's going to uh, uh, get get this uh, new row over here. Uh, actually, uh, where is it? A new row. Uh, so let's see. Uh, there we go. This is the this is the new row, um, and we cancelled the deletion of uh, one row over here. I don't recall which one it is, but um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so the diff part is really important because uh, if you're working with other people, you're going to be making changes inside Excel, possibly over days. And then other people, like the, the boards, are not going to remain static during that time. Other people are going to make changes to, to those boards. And it's very important when you're ready to commit, it's very important that you see exactly what you, what you changed, what other people have changed, and, and that it gives you, so, so you're not overriding each other's, uh, each other's changes. Okay, so the, the most important changes so far, every table can connect to a different data source. There's two types of data source currently in uh, data links. There's going to be many more, but for now it's uh, monday.com and, um, and MailChimp. Uh, but uh, aside from that, uh, we, can, we can only, we, uh, with the original version of Monday Link, we could only work with the one uh, monday.com account. With the new version of, um, of with data links, uh, every table can pick and choose which uh, connection it's going to use. So if I click um, pull a board, uh, I can define a new connection here, uh, uh, mon uh, let's say uh, a monday.com connection, um, and then I can use an API key to connect to that uh, account, or uh, I can connect with, the, uh, with my uh, browser. So when I click um, login with browser, uh, I'm taking to, uh, to this page in here, 
uh, I can choose which um, which account uh, I want to use, and it's uh, showing me all of the information that uh, Data Links is going to be able to um, uh, all of the operations that Data Links is going to be able to do uh, in uh, Monday.com on my behalf. So, uh, read my boards and modify my boards, profile information, uh, read a list of people. Uh, it's reading a list of people because uh, it needs to populate uh, drop downs for uh, uh, columns that contain people and teams. Um, and over here, I can uh, choose which um, uh, which profile I'm uh, I'm uh, going to be interested in uh, reading in, in, in connecting to. Um, so uh, one important thing that I want to uh, that I want to cover before logging in. Uh, let me just cancel this uh, out, uh, and we can see this note over here. So it says note for admins. Before users can log in this way, Data Links uh, app must be installed into the organization's uh, account by the account admin. Click here to add the data links app into your Monday.com account. So, um, uh, if you're an admin in a particular organization, uh, you have to uh, install this Monday.com app uh, into uh, Monday.com. So, uh, I can click uh, over here, update, which is slightly off screen. Let me see if I can get it on screen. Um, drag it down here. There we go. It's good enough. Um, so I can click uh, update over here and it's going to uh, install this app into my uh, organization and at that point everybody in my organization is going to be able to log in uh, with, the, with their browser. So I need to have this app installed uh, in my uh, organization. So once I do that, um, I can now uh, log in with, uh, with my browser. It says uh, here are the permissions and I want to authorize. Um, and it's going to take me to a success page. And if I go uh, back here, I can see that Data Links has been able to read a list of my boards. Uh, but let's say, uh, but what if I didn't install that uh, that app? So uh, if I click uh, pull table, uh, new connection, I want to connect to monday.com. Let's say I want to log in uh, with my browser. Uh, but now instead of, uh, instead of accepting, I'm going to switch to a different account that doesn't have this app installed. Uh, when I do that, uh, this is the error you're going to see. You're going to see invalid scope. Uh, and the way to solve this uh, invalid scope thing um, is basically to, uh, to click on this link uh, and then uh, install this app into this account. So once I do that, let's uh, do let's update this, uh, and you shouldn't be you shouldn't see this app hasn't been reviewed by the Monday uh, team. This is currently uh, not yet in production. Uh, this uh, testing, but um, getting ready to uh, release officially. Uh, so uh, once I do that, I can now uh, log in with my browser, and I can now. Um, uh, and myself and anybody else who's part of uh, QueryStorm company can now uh, log in, um, can now authorize data links to access um, uh, to access my data. Uh, and uh, we can see over here that these are uh, completely different uh, boards compared to uh, previously. Um, so let's say I want to, I don't know, pull in this uh, this board. I have no idea what this board is. Uh, nothing, I guess. Um, let's go to this board uh, and see what's there in the uh, in the browser. That should be just one row. Uh, <coughs> okay. Um, all right, uh, so basically, and now if I, uh, basically what I have uh, here is uh, now is a situation where I have one board from one Monday.com account, uh, one table, uh, another table here that's linked to a MailChimp uh, account, uh, a third table here that's linked to uh, a board in a different Monday uh, account. Uh, and if I want to see what's linked with what, uh, let, let me just add a, another table over here that's not linked with anything. Um, and now if I go to data links and I click uh, manage data links, I can see uh, all of the tables in this workbook uh, and what they're linked to. So table four is slightly grayed out. It's not linked to anything. Um, this movies table that's linked to here, it's not an actual movies table. It's just a table with one row. Um, this table over here, the MailChimp one, we can see it's linked to MailChimp. The connection is uh, corresponds to the name of my organization uh, in, on MailChimp. Uh, and the query that I'm running is basically just a, a, a member's query. 
And uh, this table over here uh, is connected to uh, monday.com. Uh, the, the account is connected to is a query storm team, uh, and this one is query storm company. Uh, this one is a paid account. This one is just a dummy account that I use for like testing purposes. Uh, and the board that I'm connected to here is the project overview. Uh, if I want to edit this um, query, I can go over here and I can select, okay, I am still connecting to this one, but I want to change some of my settings or I want to change uh, some of the, I want to, uh, like, let's say, add additional columns that I'm mapping uh, um, so I can, I can uh, edit the connection uh, over here. Um, okay, uh, so uh, basically to summarize compared to uh, the current version of MondayLink, uh, so first off, let me just say that MondayLink is not going anywhere. So uh, it's going to continue to be um, to, to function. Uh, it's been updated to the latest version of the monday.com API. So anybody who uses uh, MondayLink is going to be able to continue using MondayLink for uh, a long time. However, it's not going to be uh, developed uh, anymore. Uh, further development is going to be uh, in the context of uh, data links. Uh, all of the licenses that people have for Monday Link will be uh, available for uh, the Monday.com connector in data links. Every connector in data links is going to have a separate, uh, separate um, is going to require a separate license. So there's going to be one license for uh, for the Monday.com um, uh, connector, and you, uh, you'll, you'd have to buy a different, uh, a new license for um, or add to your subscription. Um, the license for uh, the MailChimp one. Um, I'll be adding other connectors as well. So I don't know, Airtable, T-Sheets, uh, what else, QuickBooks, I don't know, WordPress. I'll have to see uh, basically kind of what the priorities are. Um, but yeah, so th there's going to be more and more uh, connectors. Uh, and well, basically the idea is to kind of have uh, Excel be like this hub where you can pull in uh, data from different systems and push data from, take data from one system, enrich it with data from another system, and then th the combined data push it into, uh, push it into a third system and, and, uh, and have that like something that can be automated. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything I wanted to cover in this video. I'm kind of rambling on at this point, so I, I think I'll finish. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, Monday Link, uh, about anything related to Monday Link or Data Links, please leave them in the comment section of this um, of this video, and I will see you again next time.